Uh, hey guys, me again. Uh, just a, a little word about PFS shooting, and there's been a lot of discussion lately about um, or some new guys wanting some help with instruction and, and, and where to start. And the truth is, there, there's so many varieties to pickle fork shooting that there is no one correct version. So just, just to share with you my thoughts, my technique, um, the way that I shoot, um, and it's, it's the way that Arturo um, shared with me as, as his method of shooting, and, and this really works pretty good. Uh, I, I gotta say that if you need to pick a one technique and uh, go with it, this is a good one to start with. Um, but again, it's very personalized, so you have to kind of pick and choose. Do you want to shoot semi butterfly? Do you want to shoot a uh, full butterfly? You know, it's it, it's a matter of do you want to, the the full extension stretch enjoyment, or do you want a middle position stretch and and really kind of it's a trade-off between aim and anchor precision and a floating anchor precision uh you can get you can get good at all of them no, no doubt there's some really great shooters uh you got to pick a method practice and do do your best um first comment is banding if you can see that it's, it's very flat because this is the Arturo method of what's called pre-turned band attachment. Um, as you can see, the pouch, my pouch is folded in half and it's, there's lots of pictures on the web and you can uh, message me and, and I'll share information with you. But it's, 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 it's a banding technique that makes the bands lay very flat. Uh, when they're attached to the pickle fork. Or, and this also works great for any over-the-top attachment. Um, grip. Grip is thumb and finger in a very flat, straight, in line with the pouch. No, no knuckle twisting, turning, whatever. It's flat, straight. Bring your fingers as close together as possible and at, at extension, there's, you ever so slightly push with your thumb and pull back with your finger. But the, the real trick is that you've got to keep your wrist in a position that keeps your fingers in line with the band. So as you stretch it back, your wrist has to stay in alignment. Uh, this keeps the all-important pouch release, the, the the center point of precision is in alignment with that release. Um, the other end of the equation here at the fork is the grip. Pickle forks are intended to be gripped generally at the tips of the forks and the rest of the fingers are all in here for balance. The, it's not a death grip. It, that, just leads to all kinds of problems. It's a thumb brace pinch grip that is floating in the hand so that you can manipulate the, the angle of the fork, I don't know how to show you, angle of the fork tips with, with your little fingers. Um, different shaped fork tips have a lot to do with how much press forward or straightness and some some forks and this one included are very flat on the end so you actually end up doing a, a negative press so that the bands get a good clear clean uh, uh, fulcrum point there of trajectory <clears throat> so um, sounds like a lot it's really just very simple and I'll try to shoot a few shots. Maybe I'll move the, the video to another position so you can see my full release. So uh, a couple shots on this can.
So that's what it looks like from the back side. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pause this and reset it from the front side.